Let's get started, everyone. We'll start in Kano State. perhaps by now familiar with those images you see there on your screen they say about three of them have emerged some of those if you watch carefully depicts an alleged involvement of the Kano state governor Abdullah Ganduje in an exchange of money for contra scenarios published by the Delhi Niger news outlet the house of assembly in Kano state has set up a committee to investigate this matter the publisher of the Daily Nigeria, Mr. Jaffa Jaffa, has been asked to face the committee. He has appeared before the committee. The Kano State Governor, Abdullah Ganduje, today did not appear before the committee, but was represented by his Commissioner for Information, Mohammed Garba. And in his presentation, the Governor denied allegation of corruption published against him by an online newspaper, Daily Nigeria. That His Excellency the Governor of Kano State did not collect, has not collected, and will never collect bribe from anybody whosoever, and for whatever purposes. Three, that the allegation leveled against him is injurious, falsehood, designed purposely to tarnish his long established good reputation reduce his popularity for some political opponents to take undue advantage in the first coming general election. Well, let's get, let's get some perspective to this one. There are a lot of issues on the legality of all this matter, the issues of uh, criminality and allegations on, on, uh, on one side. Uh, loads and loads of issues. You heard him there, the Commissioner for Information in Kano State saying that this is politically motivated. Let's get a perspective of a senior advocate of Nigeria, Mr. Emeka Etiaba, who joins us from our Abuja studio. Thank you so much, senior advocate, for coming on the program today. Let's begin this conversation around what you make of the scenario that's playing out with this tape and the Nigerian criminal uh, law, what is state uh, regarding this kind of evidence in court so circumstantial, or what kind of evidence would you describe this video? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sean. Um, I have uh, watched the drama unfold uh, for quite some time now, and I must state that what I'm discussing tonight is not uh, the conviction of the governor or the culpability of the governor, but the perspective of what the law makes out of such a uh, scandal, uh, and if it happens to be true, what uh, the future may hold for him. I must tell you that um, I was taken aback a few minutes back when I realized that the governor did not appear before the House of Assembly to defend himself. What you see at the State Assembly is what we call a quasi-criminal proceeding, and it is not what a commissioner will come and represent the governor. Uh, the governor is the one who has been accused, and he is the one who should come personally to deny allegations made against him. Um, I must tell you that uh, that is a ridicule of the House of Assembly. Assuming the House of Assembly wanted to probe further or cross-examine uh, the governor that was invited, it can't be the commissioner that will be cross-examined, because all he says is that he was told. He said, hearsay, hearsay evidence which does not hold water in law. Again, I will tell you that um, for the governor, I said it's a quasi-criminal proceeding. It is actually not uh, a criminal one, and for him to uh, be found uh, liable, liable enough uh, for disciplinary action to be taken against him, 
I can assure you that it does not take any proof of conviction or proof beyond reasonable doubt. I remember in the case of NJC against uh, uh, Selong, Selong was a judge who was uh, charged for some infractions before the uh, NJC. Uh, the decision in that case is actually is that uh, there was no uh, there was no need the the to proceed against the judge and to discipline him will not be predicated on a conviction of the criminal allegations against him. So what we are seeing today, I mean, uh, does not entail that the governor uh, must be convicted before uh, uh, disciplinary actions can be taken against him.